The bike is a 1945 Harley Davidson Military U model. Uh, they came out in two versions, 74 cubic inch and 80 cubic inch. This is an 80 cubic inch. Uh, there was 262 built in 1945 for the US Navy. Uh, half of them were made with sidecars and half without sidecars. Yep. Uh, according to the records that I have, they were, uh, they were only used in the continental United States in uh, military bases for the military, shore patrol, military police. The bike had been civilianised. The previous owner had it for 20 years. Uh, I'm not sure where he got it from, but uh, the one good thing about the gentleman was he kept all the old parts when he took them off and replaced them when things wore out, so I got all that with the bike. Uh, I had to source a number of the military parts, which were pretty rare for this model. However, uh, everything on it now is original. Uh, there's some uh, colony part nuts and bolts that have gone back to the factory nuts and bolts, but made by colony. Other than that, uh, even the Firestone tyres are the right for the period. All the new old, old stock I could for it. All the nuts and bolts are correct for the bike. Uh, all the parts are correct for the bike. So hundreds of hours, like it's a, it's a big job. Depends if you want to do it properly, which I like to do. Pull it down. I've uh, I bead blast every nut and bolt. Uh, with this particular bike, uh, all the black parts except for the frame are Cerakote, which is a spray-on ceramic. Okay, right hand is the throttle. Left hand is the spark, advance and retard. Foot and toe clutch on the left hand side of the bike has to be in neutral with the clutch engaged the throttle the spark has to be at full retard you go around to the kickstart side ignition on hopefully it'll start first kick 